what starts with the dog's training is it's something called uh, search, and play and reward. So he starts with a favorite toy and then that toy is paired with a, a pure odor, in this case the pure odor of C. difficile from a culture. He learns that that odor is associated with a reward. Then gradually you remove the toy and so he then starts to go for the pure odor and you reward him with the toy. Then you make it more complex. Then you mix in uh, fecal order from a patient that we know has got C. difficile. And then the next stage is to add what's called an associated odor. That's an odor that could be confusing. So in this case, it was a uh, fecal smell without C. difficile. We really were after was to use his talents to look for reservoirs of C. difficile in the environment that we might have missed. So we're looking for him going into unoccupied rooms, uh, bathrooms, uh, patient rooms that have been cleaned, medication rooms, uh, hallways, that type of thing, and doing very quick sweeps to see is there anything that we have missed in our cleaning process. And then we can come in with additional cleaning, and you may recall we also have ultraviolet C here. We can then treat areas with ultraviolet C. Currently we have three of these ultraviolet machines, but to do all the beds in, all, in the hospital it's impossible. So if we can use Angus to help us strategically deploy the machines, we're using our resources in a smarter fashion.